question. Define order guide. Order guides enable customers to make a single service catalog request that generates several items. Question. How can you create order guides? Your answer should be. Order guides can be created with a two-step or three-step ordering process. Describe needs choose options check out for two-step process the check out step can be omitted from an order guide to provide a quicker two-step process. To omit this third step, select the two-step check box when creating the order guide. Question, can we add a catalog item to an order guide? Your answer should be, yes, by using specific rules. Question, what is order guide rule or rule base? Your answer should be, order guide rules define conditions that must be met for a specific item to be included in an order. For example, a new employee hire order guide rule can state that if the new employee job title is CTO or director, and the department is IT, then add an executive desktop item to the order. Question. What is the use of cascade? Your answer should be, cascading allows values entered for variables in the initial order form to be passed to the equivalent variables in the ordered catalog items. To enable cascading, select the cascade variables checkbox when creating the order guide. Then, create variables on the catalog items that match the names of the corresponding variables in the order guide. When a customer places an order, the variables on the ordered items inherit the values of the identically named variables in the order guide. Question, can we run an order guide automatically? If so, how? Your answer should be, yes, we can run an order guide automatically from within a workflow or a server script passing parameters to that order guide to define variable values. Question. Can a category having no active items appear slash added in the catalog? Your answer should be, if there are no active items in a category S hierarchy, that category does not appear in, and cannot be added to, the catalog. Users with the admin or catalog underscore admin roles can see all categories, regardless of the number of active items. Configure the glide.sc category.canview.override property to change this behavior. Question, what is the use of variable omit price in cart? Your answer should be, it is used to hide the item price in the cart and the catalog listing. Question, what is the difference between copy and insert slash insert and stay catalog item? Your answer should be, copy an item means creating a full duplicate of the item, including the item details, attachments, variables, client scripts, and approvals. Insert only copies the item details. Question. Can a catalog item will be available in more than one catalog and category? Your answer should be, yes, a catalog item can be available for multiple catalogs and categories. Question, define branch activity in workflow? Your answer should be, the branch activity splits the workflow into multiple transition paths from a single activity. If you find this content helpful then please like and subscribe. We wish you all the best. Question. Define join activity in workflow? Your answer should be. The join activity unites multiple concurrent execution paths into a single transition. Question. Define lock activity in workflow? Your answer should be. The lock activity prevents other instances of this workflow from continuing past this activity until the lock is released. For example, if a workflow is triggered when a record is added to a particular table and multiple records are added one after the other, that workflow will be triggered multiple times, once by each record insertion. 
In such cases, you can use the lock activity to ensure that this instance of the workflow has completely finished one or more activities before any other instance of the workflow can proceed. Question. Define wait for condition activity in workflow. Your answer should be, the wait for condition activity causes the workflow to wait at this activity until the current record matches the specified condition. The workflow evaluates the wait for condition each time the current record is updated. Use this activity to pause a workflow indefinitely until a particular criteria is met by a record update. Question. Define wait for WF event activity in workflow? Your answer should be, the wait for WF event activity causes the workflow to wait at this activity until the specified event is fired. Use this activity to wait for another activity to fire an event.